LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison, and you're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, guys, you know what it is, okay? <laughs> Chell Sonnen, he's still talking. You know what? Either you like what Chell Sonnen's saying, or you're really not going to like what he's saying. This time, I kind of agree with Chell Sonnen. I mean, honestly, I agree with him. And what he had to say again about Ronda Rousey, you know, he was saying that, you know, and he said this in a recent, you know, in an interview, because, uh, you know, Ronda been doing a lot of commercials, man. She's been doing a lot of commercials. And and it's kind of a sign. I'm like, I think Ronda is making her return. Because she did, like, an ESPN commercial, and she dressed up as Pikachu on, on machines. And I'm like, wait a minute, you know. And then Ronda was in the commercial, you know, when uh, Holly Holm and, uh, I meant, I'm sorry, Holly Holm and Valentina Shevinko, she was in commercials. They kept airing Ronda Rousey in a lot of commercials all during that fight. And I'm like, I think Ronda is set to return. I think she is going to make a return soon. But he go the thing, man. You know, Chael Sonnen was like, listen, you know, the media and these women's groups, they hyped up the fact that Ronda Rousey could beat Floyd Mayweather. Because, see, the situation, pretty much, guys, the situation is, is right for the picking. You got Floyd Mayweather who, you know, he was accused of beating women, battering his, battering his uh, baby's mom. Okay, he was accused of that. And then you got Ronda Rousey, who was a hypocrite, who, you know, dating uh, who, who dating a person who beat his wife. But that's the subject for another video, okay? But anyway, um, you know, you have Ronda Rousey, the hero, the, in their eyes, that this woman who came out and said, you know what, well, Floyd, how does it feel to finally get beat by a woman? You know, and she said that at the uh, ESPN ESPYs. And so now the women's groups, you know, these women's groups, they start flocking towards Ronda. And they start hyping Ronda head up that she could go beat Floyd Mayweather. Then you had a bunch of men that were saying that. Then you had Dana White with that whisket, biscuit, ball-headed, bi oh, excuse me, PG-13 channel. You had Dana White, Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean is the man. You had him, you know, sitting back talking about, yeah, Ronda, Ronda would armbar Floyd in a minute. Ronda would do this to Floyd. Ronda would do that to Floyd. Like, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Like, and then the media bought into it. The people bought into it. I didn't buy into it. You know why? Because I'm going to tell you right now. If somebody asked me, hey, could Ronda Rousey whoop your tail? Uh, the answer is, uh, that's a hell no. Uh, street fighting and MMA fighting, there's a difference. Now, I do believe that if you're an MMA fighter, you have an advantage. You can fight in the street, and you're more prepared to fight in the street than you are a boxer. But street fighting, there are no rules. You have rules in MMA. There are no rules. And let me tell you, your environment in a street fight is your friend. See, your hands and your feet are not your friend in a street fight. And I think people forget that street fighting is that you use the environment. The environment is your friend, man. I, you know what I mean? I throw some dirt in the eye. I spit in the eye. And then I go right at it. See, once you do all of that, it's, 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 it's a wrap. I don't care who you are. If you can't see, see that, 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 that Jedi mind trick, that Bruce Lee stuff. Listen, man, that stuff's on TV. You throw dirt in somebody's eyes, you spit in somebody's eyes, and you go right at them. They can't see you, and if they can't see you, they ain't going to be able to hit you, and you're going to be able to dominate them. Folks, that's just how it is, okay? That's called street fighting, okay? But he was saying that, you know, why are they hyping this woman up to say she can beat Floyd Mayweather? That's what he said. He said, why, why are they hyping her up? Why are they getting in her head? Why are they telling her that she can go into a ring and physically beat Floyd Mayweather? It's the dumbest thing that I ever heard. And a lot of people were saying that, you know, a lot of people here in the LABC were saying that Ronda can't do it. But you had a lot of these idiots, these supernatural, these e-feminine, butt-hurt, fruity fecal matter, popcorn, pop-tart farts in the YTBC talking about, oh, yeah, Ronda, Ronda would, Ronda would arm ball for Floyd is afraid of Ronda. Floyd won't fight Ronda. What the hell is Floyd Mayweather supposed to do? Like, honestly, y'all, what was he supposed to do? Was he really supposed to get in the ring and say, okay, well, I want to fight Ronda? Okay, then he go in there and two-piece and knock Ronda out because really and truly Floyd does hit hard. People can say, oh, he can't punch. Yes, he can. He backed Canelo up. What do you think he would do if he caught Ronda Rousey in the chin? Ronda Rousey would go to sleep. <laughs> Holly Holm, do y'all think Holly Holm punch harder than Floyd? Holly Holm two-piece Ronda Rousey and knocked her down and staggered her. What do you think Mayweather, a guy like Mayweather, would do? See, let me tell you something, man. These little women's group and these feminist groups, they're giving women all these power. They're giving women all this power, man. And I used to, you know what, in my gym, I used to spar, man, with this one girl. She was an MMA fighter. And, you know, for some reason, the women, they have this thing that they got to prove 
that they're just as tough as men. And I don't know why women do that. I don't know why they do that. They, they do it, and it's just, it drives me nuts. So, you know, I would get in, and, you know, she asked me, Coach, could you spar a little bit with me, you know, because I want to prepare for this fight. And blah. I'm like, hey, no problem, you know. And so I told her, I said, you know what, y the purpose of sparring, because I noticed she was sparring with a couple of other dudes, and, and she was just sitting in there, like, just trying to, like, like kill them. And, you know, the guys kept saying, listen, 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 baby, you, just calm down, you know, just calm down. That's what she said. You know, the guys kept saying, calm down, we're just sparring. Nah, she was going in there swinging haymakers and hitting them in the back of the head and all kind of stupid stuff. And I said, listen, you're going to get one of these guys mad. And these guys, one of these guys, they're going to clock you. And she was like, oh, well, I'm ready for it. So, you know, we got in the sparred. I said, listen, the purpose of sparring is not to brutalize your opponent. The purpose is for you to get a look for what the person that you're going to fight. And my style, the way I fight, was kind of similar to the style that she was going to be seeing. So she came in throwing a barrage of punches. You know, she started, you know, trying to work my body and stuff. So I started stepping back out of range, and she started doing it. And I said, listen, the purpose, and I had to say it about ten times, and finally I just caught her with a stiff jab, knocked her back, and she fell back into the corner. And she said, why you hit me like that? I said, are you curious? Are you out of your damn mind? That's what I said. Are you out of your mind? I said, how many times did I tell you, listen, the purpose of sparring is to get work? And, you know, she didn't get that. I didn't spar with her anymore. I stopped doing it. I let the other guys do it. And But she, she kind of kind of calmed down and just got work in instead of trying to kill your opponent, you know. And if for some reason, it's like that with these women, especially women's MMA fighters, man. And it makes me sick when they say, oh, yeah, well, you know, she can't fight men anymore. I mean, she can't, you know, women are not tough enough, so she got to spar with men. Those men don't really want to hit that woman. They really don't. They taking it easy. I'm trying to tell y'all. And people be like, oh, yeah, she beating up men. She's not really beating them up because the men are like, wait a minute. If I hit her, I can concuss her. And that's all I was thinking about when I was sparring this, this girl. Because you can tell, man, the difference in shots when you're getting hit by a woman is not the same. When a dude hits you, you know when a dude hits you because you feel that. I mean, even a small dude that, that, that know how to fight, you can feel it, man. But a woman, it kind of feel like little bee stings, man. That's what it feel like. It feel like little beast things, and, you know, it, it's not really as effective. But, you know, now if you accumulate that over time, and if it's an accumulation of punches, then, yeah, you know, you'll feel it, and it'll be like, oh, crap, you know, where well, she been hit me. But most of the women that I got in the ring, that, nah, man, they not, it's just, it's, it's not that. <laughs> you can't feel it. And, folks, that's just the way that is, okay? That's just the way that is. And my thing is this, okay? My thing is this. Women shouldn't be fighting men. They just shouldn't be it's just you know it's a non-negotiable with me they shouldn't be you know now trying to help somebody spar and get them ready for a fight see that's okay all of that's fine but this other mess like oh getting in the ring and you know having a one-on-one -on -one fight i'm telling you as as a man i'm telling you what it is we reserve so to really get in there and say that ronda could beat up floyd mayweather is totally preposterous i agree with chael sonnen like those women's, those feminist group, they pump Ronda head up. You had Ronda team pumping her head up. You had Dana White ball headed ass pumping her head up. You had all these people pumping her head up, thinking she can beat this dude. And then it's ironic when she got beat up by a female boxer in Holly Holm, <laughs> and, and and that ended that whole story. So yeah, I agree with Chael Sonnen, and Chael Sonnen seems to think that Ronda is going to return soon. That's what he thinks, but I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about this, okay? This is Coach Shelton Harrison just being real. Um, what are you guys waiting on? Subscribe. I'm done.